The Way We Do It in Japan, written by Geneva Cobb Ijima. The premise of the book is about an American boy born of an interracial couple whose father is assigned to move back to Japan for work. He is nervous and excited to learn and experience the way they do it in Japan. I chose this book because it's a great story to help children put themselves in the situation of living in another country where the tradition and language is different from their own. It would be a great opener to a conversation or writing piece about students imagining themselves in another country and how they would feel, how they might feel the same way as the character in the book, or perhaps different. In the morning, Gregory and his dad went shopping for school supplies. Those book bags look huge, said Gregory. And don't you have any blue ones? The girls all wear red ones and the boys wear black ones. That's the custom, the clerk told them. But at your school, the students wear blue gym uniforms on the days they have gym and they'll need a red cap too. Gregory tried on the hat. It looks nice, he said. The next day, Gregory felt proud walking under the cherry trees beside his father and carrying his book bag on his back. Inside, were his new notebook and pencils and his red hat. He carried his lunch bag from San Francisco with his favorite superhero on it. As they neared the school, he felt a little scared though. Will the kids like me, he wondered. When they arrived at school, the principal spoke to him in English. Welcome to South Tokyo Elementary School. I hope you are very happy. Thank you, said Gregory softly. Then he blinked back a tear as he said goodbye to his father and followed his principal into his classroom. Your teacher, Inoui Sensei, speaks English. You'll do fine, the principal said. Inoui Sensei showed him the desk and handed him a mathematics book. Gregory looked through the book. The numbers were written the same as in America, but he knew they were pronounced differently. His father had already taught him that. In his mind, Gregory counted to five in Japanese. Ichi ni san shi go. But when reading class began, he felt very alone. How would he ever learn to read those funny marks? While the other children studied their reading books, Inui Sensei showed Gregory how to write the letters in the Japanese alphabet. He worked hard and was very glad when lunchtime came. That is, until the children who were kitchen helpers brought in trays of rice, fish, and fermented soybeans. Gregory looked at his own lunch, a peanut butter sandwich, an apple, and cookies. He had the wrong kind of lunch. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw the other students watching him as he ate. His face flushed, and he had a hard time swallowing. When the teacher dismissed them for recess, the boy in the seat across from him said, Ayuuki, and motioned for him to follow. On the playground, they played soccer. Gregory liked soccer. Yuuki saw that he could play well and smiled. When the bell rang, Yuuki put on his red cap and grabbed a cloth and some window cleaner. He gave Gregory a cloth too. Then he began washing the classroom windows Gregory looked around. Other children were sweeping the floors or dusting. This is the way we do it in Japan, he thought. It even looked kind of funny. When the room was clean, they returned to their desks for geography class. When he got home, Gregory knelt beside the table and practiced writing the Japanese alphabet all evening. I'm gonna skip ahead to the end. In the end, all the children band together and, and ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to honor Gregory. <laughs>